Okay, friend. This is the second video, part, second part of the tutorial 00. After the restart, re restarting your system, you have to just search here, and Ubuntu will be here. Or you can search, press Windows key and search Ubuntu. So start it. Installing this, it will take time. Sometimes it will, it takes time. My system is very old. About uh, I have bought it. This system about uh, 2013. So it is about 12 year old system. So it will take time. I three fourth generation. And one more thing, my friends. Uh, you don't require any sophisticated system for the programming. Just i5, i3 will be more than sufficient, and uh, 8 GB RAM is more than sufficient for the pro coding. Let me pause. Okay, now it is asking username. And username don't give in capital, it will not accept. If you want to see, now I'm giving Nero in 07. Username created, you will ask for password. If you type, type carefully, it will not show your password. Now password has been successful, installation successful. Okay, whenever you open your Ubuntu, it will show you this message. So, <clears throat> so just create Vim dot hash login and trace colon wq. It will never appear then after this. Okay, now I'm now I'm installing the compiler for the C++ and C. For that, what we have to do, sudo apt date. It will ask password. Just type the password. It will not show your password here. Okay, now sudo apt upgrade. Sudo apt upgrade, sudo apt update. Now you learned the Ubuntu operating system. We call it in our lab. We make joke like this. If you know how much you know the Ubuntu library system. So we type sudo apt update, enter password, sudo apt update. Okay, this much I know about the Ubuntu operating system. Initially, when I joined my PhD, but I was doing like this only. <laughs> Okay, now upgrade. Now clear the screen. 
control plus L, we will clear the screen or you can type clear. It will clear the screen. Now installing the compiler sudo apt install. You can type GCC or G++. It will ask yes or no. Type Y, enter. Now clear screen or you now check the version type GCC hyphen hyphen version. This is GCC is compiler for the C, you know, and G plus plus minus hyphen hyphen version. Now compile and now your compiler has been installed. Control L clear. Now type sudo apt install g enter. Yes, this sudo apt install gdb I am using. Why I am installing this because for the if you want to debug your program. Sometimes you write the program, the compiler will not detect any error because compiler only detect the syntax error. And when and when you go for the pointers and and size is higher than have you if you are located dynamic memory and you are asking more than that memory, so it will go segmented as and at fault or everything fault. You will get this kind of error, and since it's syntax error will not be the problem. The main problem will be your logical and that pointer error. So for that, we have to go for the debugging. Okay, now I have installed this GDB and everything. Exit. Now we will go to install the VS Code. For that, we will go Google or anything any browser. We type VS Code download okay now they have go for the store installing this Or there is another way you can install through bus just clicking download VS Code and go, it will go here. Let me see. Yeah, it will go if you are using Debian operating system like Debian Ubuntu, or if you are using Red Hat family of operating systems. So this will be here, and this is your Mac or more. So I am using Windows. So I will click the window. Now it will start downloading. I have already downloaded because of this bracket one system. Now going to installation. Click double click this. I agree. Accept. Create desktop account. You can click here. It will dip. It depends on you. 
you can click on not view. So it is preparing your window installation. Just wait. In your system, are faster because you might, your system might be fast new. Okay. So our VS Code has been installed. I will teach you how to activate VS WSL VS Code in VS Code in next video. Thank you for today's.